Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching Saudi Channel and have a top stories. We are tracking for you on Thursday, the 4th of July. Foreign ministers of India and China agree to resolve border issues at earliest. Indian cricket team brings T20 World Cup trophy home, meets PM Modi. And Nepal PM their health faces crisis as three allies of parliamentary support. And now for all the details, Indian Foreign Minister S. J. Shankar met with his Chinese counterpart from G on Thursday on the sidelines of the SCA summit in Astana and agreed that the prolongation of the current situation in their border areas is not in the interest of either side. Jai Shankar and Wang Ji also agreed to redouble efforts through diplomatic and military channels to resolve the remaining border issues at the earliest. Their talks came amid the ongoing border standoff in eastern Ladakh that entered its fifth year in May. India has been maintaining that its ties with China cannot be normal unless there is peace in the border areas. Meanwhile, at the SEO summit, Jai Shankar delivered a statement on behalf of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and called for giving priority to combating terrorism. He said the global community must isolate and expose nations harboring terrorists. And after securing the T20 World Cup title with a dramatic seven-run win over South Africa, men in blue, the Indian cricket team, arrived in India on Thursday to a hero's welcome. They were also hosted by Prime Minister Narendra Modi at his residence. Here's a glimpse of their triumphant return. The Indian cricket team, led by Rohit Sharma on Thursday, landed in Delhi after winning a dramatic game over South Africa by seven runs despite a tense movement where it appeared the latter might clinch the match. The men in blue enjoyed a grand welcome from the fans amid loud cheers, bringing home the evasive T20 World Cup trophy after 17 years. The team participated in a cake-cutting ceremony at the ITC Moria Hotel to celebrate their victory, while fans crowded the hotel entrance and lobby, waiting eagerly to catch a glimpse of the world champions. I am extremely happy. I think you can tell from our expressions that both of us are extremely happy and excited and I just hope we get to see a glimpse of them. That is Sir, I am waiting for 4 hours and I am and I am waiting for my team India. This is not a normal thing. Two times World Cup to win. England and only India get a chance to win this World Cup. And Rohit Sharma, Virat Kohli, Jadeja. Later, Prime Minister Narendra Modi hosted the Indian cricket team at his residence in New Delhi. The winners share their memorable conversation on their experiences throughout the tournament. India's victory has also turned bittersweet for supporters. As cricket icons, Rohit Sharma, Virat Kohli and Ravindra Jadeja announced their retirement from the shortest format of the game soon after the final. The team later on participated in an open bus victory parade from Marine Drive to Van Khede Stadium showing off the T20 Cup before fans on the streets in Mumbai. In a country where cricket is often touted as the largest religion, India's glorious win was met with tears of joy from the players and enthusiastic fans. Moving on, residents of Pakistan's Karachi recently held a protest against the city's power company, complaining of sweltering heat with no electricity and skyrocketing prices despite low consumption. A report. Scores of residents and members of Pakistan's Jamaat-e-Islami party held a massive protest in Karachi recently over frequent load shedding and overbilling by the port city's power utility company K Electric. The protesters complained on one side they are suffering from severe heat wave and on the other side they are deprived of electricity. And despite less consumption, electricity has been made non-affordable with its prices skyrocketing. Pakistan's 
मुश्किल हो गया है और बिल आते हैं एक टैक्स नहीं है सैकड़ों टैक्स है भाइयों ये जुल्म बर्दाश्त नहीं किया जाएगा इस शहर को बिल तुम पूरे लेते हो बिल तुम पूरे लेते हो लेकिन बारह घंटे से अठारह घंटे बिजली की लोड शेडिंग करते हो पूरा शहर कराची क्या औरंगी क्या कुरंगी Meanwhile in the latest report suggested the federal cabinet has approved an increase by nearly rupees 5 per unit in the basic tariff of electricity in line with IMF conditions for a new bailout program the move will have an additional burden of about rupees 600 billion on the electricity consumers And Sri Lanka has secured a deal to move forward on restructuring about 12.5 billion US dollars of international bonds. The government said on Wednesday, a major step in the island nation's fragile recovery from a severe financial crisis. The South Asian country defaulted for the first time on its foreign debt in May 2022. Restructuring international bonds was one of the key conditions set by the IMF under a 2.9 billion dollars bailout program that helped Sri Lanka tame inflation, stabilize its currency and improve public finances. The country's total external debt at present is 37 billion dollars. Sri Lanka in late June signed an agreement with creditor nation including Japan, India and China to restructure about 10 billion dollars in bilateral debt. It now needs to present the proposal to all its bond holders who need to agree to the deal for restructuring to be finalized. Moving on, Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on Wednesday said that there is no harm in granting India railway transit access so long as the previous agreements are generating revenues for Bangladesh. She also highlighted the opportunity for Bangladesh to generate revenues from road tolls through this new arrangement in her closing remarks of the budget session on Wednesday. During her recent visit to India, 10 agreements were reached with rail connectivity being the most discussed. As per the agreement, Indian trains will transport goods and passengers across Bangladesh to reach different parts of India. Similarly, Bangladesh Railway will use Indian territory to access Nepal and Bhutan. The deal has ignited a political debate in the country. The opposition BNP opposes the arrangement, arguing that it will undermine the country's independence and sovereignty and pose a threat to national security. And Nepal's Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dehel faces a major crisis after a key ally in his multi-party coalition withdrew support on Wednesday, pushing his government into a minority in the parliament four months after the coalition was formed. Eight ministers of CP and UML party, which withdrew support, resigned en masse. The party was the biggest group supporting Dehel's government since March. The UML and opposition Nepali Congress party have decided to unite to form a new coalition. As per their agreement, UML chief KP Sharma Oli and Nepali Congress president Sher Bahadur Dueba would share the prime minister's post until the next election in November 2027. They held had himself changed allies twice since becoming prime minister in 2022. His Mayawis Centre Party said he would not resign but would face a vote of confidence in Parliament as required within 30 days. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.